friend Neil, Neil of Stone Foundation. Thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes no, to speak no with us. Now you guys have been on tour around Spain and I'd like to kind of focus on that. What has been your favorite city so far? Uh, well, I think that was last night in Valencia, to be fair. I mean, uh, Sevilla was really good. Um, to be honest, we've enjoyed every single place that we played. I think the thing that blows us away the most is that people are actually, they know the songs and they're singing the lyrics back, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's kind of, it's a bit crazy to play your first tour of Spain and everyone kind of knows the record. Isn't that nice? You know what I mean? It's so cool. So that's great. I mean, Valencia in particular was wonderful last night because we got to spend a bit of time at the, is it the Fallas Festival? Yes, exactly. So we were letting uh, firecrackers off in the street with the kids before the uh, gig. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so that was good fun. But um, yeah, all the crowds in general have just been amazing. Um, we're like rolling up into towns thinking, is anyone going to be there? Yeah, yeah, it's um, a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah, right? it's great, man. Are there, are there differences between, obviously, you guys are based in England, you have the English audience, a huge following there. Are there differences in the fans? Yeah. Are there differences in the emotions of the show, the, the reaction you get from the crowd? Yeah, I think it's, um, it's a similar thing to, say, American touring bands that come to the United okay. Kingdom. They get like, because you're almost like a forbidden fruit, aren't you? You know sure, what I mean? Sure, sure. And and like, you know, we get the same reaction when we play. I mean, we play a lot in Japan, yeah. and uh, we're off to Germany at the end of next week. That's right. You have a couple, a little yeah. break, and then you're little, right back out back, back, back into Germany. But um, we kind of get that wherever we go abroad. You know, you get a little bit more of a sort of spark. You know, but in saying that, the the, the British crowds are fantastic as well. So I mean, I love the Scottish. They're they're fantastic. Yeah, those <laughs> Scottish people in general. It's really a pleasure for me to speak with you in this kind of a an arena because usually we have our bands obviously live in studio but to speak to you a couple hours before you actually hit the stage tonight and upload do you have any rituals I see you got a cold beer cracked already any kind of rituals you go through anything to get yourself prepared right before you hit stage walk us through that we um we did a radio interview, um, in fact Dave and, and the other Neil in the band did a radio interview in Germany, um, I think it was the start, start of last year, and um, obviously the Street Rituals record had just come out, mm -hmm. and a lady asked the question, do you have any pre-gig rituals? And Neil just said off the top of his head, oh, you know, we usually have a handshake or uh, or maybe a quick hug. <laughs> and we were like looking at each other thinking, we've literally never, we've never hugged before. before yeah. So now we always hug each other do before you? a gig. Do you do that? <laughs> yeah, we, have to, we call it the sheezy hug. Oh. So we always get that in. But other than that, mate, no, not really. Um, I, think, I think when you get to this point of a tour, you are just basically sort of working on uh, just one foot in front of the other. It just comes naturally, you know what I mean? It's like not a, not a thing you have to really push. Night after night, you know, playing through Spain, <clears throat> you said you had a late one last night, you got yeah. home around 5 a.m. Yeah. How do you keep the voice under control? How do you keep from, from blowing that thing right out? Well, I'm kind of probably, I reckon, at the at the point after tonight where I'll be like talking Close. like Joe Cocker. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's not such a bad thing. No, it's not. But um, yeah, it's just, I mean, the, the, the thing is with us, we always like to interact with the crowd and it's really important for us that after the gigs we go out and talk with people. So every time we finish a gig, we always go out and have a few drinks and always go out and spend a good hour, a couple of hours with the crowd just talking and you stuff. You make and a people, point to yeah, that. And people can have pictures with us and get stuff signed and all that. And I think it's really essential to have that kind of, someone said to me, I mean, we play really big gigs in London, um, like Shepherd's Bush Empire and places like that. And uh, someone said to me that, um, they, they really love our band because it has almost a, like a family atmosphere to it, almost, almost akin to when the Paul Weller movement first came out or those Style Council uh, tours, you know what I mean, where people went because they had like this certain lifestyle, this certain musical taste and like-minded people went to this place together, do you know sure, what I mean? Sure, So yeah. everyone, there's so many people who become friends through coming and seeing the band, do you sure, know? It's, yeah. it's a really, it's a really nice community kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, well how about that? A little bit about <coughs> about your music, you know, I, I very, very kind of a interesting thing, as I was listening to your music and I see your social media following, yeah. I was kind of trying to get a sense for who your audience is and who your fans are. And it seems to me your music is so beautiful, the funk, the jazz, the soul, but it also takes an educated ear, musically speaking, to yeah, really yeah, yeah. appreciate what you guys are doing. Who are your fans? Who are your 
your audience is right now? Um, I don't know really. It depends where. What the, what's the age range? It's it's massive. It depends wherever we are in the world. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, it's a lot it's sort of younger in Japan. Um, Spain's been a real mix. Spain's really quite similar to the UK. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. At a club like tonight, it'd probably be a lot, uh, maybe a lot younger. I'm not sure, but. It's it really is such a mix of people from people who are kind of dipping back into say that kind of thing that they experience with say like bands like the E Street Band or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we've got that kind of vibe on yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and then younger kids are probably into like you know uh, Michael Kiranuka or stuff like that or like the younger sort of soul scene. You know. I think it's just people who just want to come and, and listen to music that they love, really. You know? Obviously, with the record and the tour, uh, you guys are putting yourself out there. How important is social media? I mean, are you a guy, massive, Neil? Do, massive, do you get involved personally with <coughs> Occasionally, yeah. Um, a lot of the stuff we do now goes through um, our record label in the, in the United Kingdom, 100%. And um, they're really good at keeping up to date with that. But I believe it's really important that it's another form of interaction with people, you know. Yeah. And really our kind of uh, balloon has risen, so to speak, because of the amount of uh, people that have come to us through word of mouth, social media, that kind of thing, you know what I mean? It's a lot of that, a lot Massive, of word of mouth. Massively, yeah. Do you, do you feel that some of your audience could be potentially, you know, older people, you know, older I mean like in their 40s and 50s, do you feel that um, it's difficult to engage with them on social media not as so opposed much. to a boy band coming out and they just blow up with millions of not, not so much because I think you've got so many different like platforms now haven't you like you've got your Facebook where it tends to be more people sort of my age upwards mm -hmm. and then you've got like Twitter which seems, and Instagram which seems to be a lot of younger people on Instagram right. you know what I mean right, so right. there's all sorts of things that, that people come to us through all these different social medias okay you know? okay great now you guys through Spain this is your last leg of the tour in Spain, a little break, short break, mm. and then on to Germany. I gotta ask, I gotta push for this, is Paul gonna be joining you in Germany on any of those dates? Can mm. you say anything No, about he's, that? he's not, but... I heard there's a special guest. That's yeah, a there, is, there is a special guest, but um, funnily enough, it's actually Paul's old drummer, Steve White, who's playing with us in Germany. Breaking news, So he, Germany, he, yeah, you're on notice. That. So he was, uh, he was the drummer that was with Paul for, oh, I can't remember how many years now, it's gotta be, 20 odd years he played, uh, he was the drummer in the Style Council throughout Stanley Road, Wildwood, all those incredible records Paul made. Steve was the, um, Steve was the solid drummer for him. Phil, our drummer, who's an incredible drummer, he unfortunately can't come because of family commitments to okay. the German dance. All right, all right. So the Germans get to have uh, an extra guest with Not Whitey, Whitey, Whitey on the drums. There. Yeah, Not fantastic man. Neil, you know, how do you balance your, your Spanish dates on tour, Germany? How do you balance kind of being at home back in England and sort of your quote unquote normal everyday life and then being the artist and musician that you are? I mean, what do you enjoy more? Do you love this night after night on the road, yeah. 5 a.m., then the next city? Yeah, the next it's city? great, it's Is great. Is that you? I mean, we are at the point now where I must admit, I reckon I'm gonna sleep for a couple of days. Do you? Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's brilliant. It's what we do it for. It's, it means everything. It means it literally means everything. When I'm at home, I, I, I'm like bouncing off the walls. I can't wait to get back out and do it. And I think all the guys are exactly the same, really. They live for it. They're all it's in your blood. Huh? We're, for, we're fortunate because we've got like eight guys in this band, and they're all really top musicians. Do you know what I mean? So. It's great, really. I'm only saying that because Dave's the yeah, yeah, he's... <laughs> <laughs> well, Neil, I'm really, I'm really excited to see all of you guys tonight. This is my first Stone Foundation show live. Right, man. When, when the audience is leaving tonight and exiting this venue, what do you hope they take away with them? I just hope they've had a good, good night. I hope they um, sort of just spread the word further, you know. When, um, the, the really important thing for us with the Street Rituals record in particular, and we're working on a new record at the moment that's coming out later this year, um, is that, that at the moment we're living in sort of really troubled times, you know. Are you speaking politically? Politically, okay. with the, obviously, with the, the guy who's in charge in America at yeah. the moment, yeah. with the things that are going on with Brexit, which yeah. is, you know, the amount of people that have come up to us while we're away and, and, and when we've been in Germany or Spain or wherever in Europe and said, we really love the UK, we don't want you to be apart from us. And we're exactly the same, you know, it was like, it was a shock to us that that happened, do you know what I mean? Are you going to be touching on that? I mean, um, in this record, I mean, you... Possibly. I'm, how, how poignant do you get about Mr. Trump, Brexit, these things? I think, I think there's a little, 
we don't directly say. I think I think we hark back to those. The thing that Paul really liked about uh, street rituals, um, which I think he said in an interview somewhere, was the fact that there's so little of that spoken about nowadays. That kind of edge that you used to get in Curtis Mayfield records or Marvin Gaye records. Yeah. There was a kind of. It's not so much like a political. You know, this is what you should do. It's more like you know we should come together now. I mean. You know, we've just left the, the European Union yeah. and surely to God, the smart man would say that as we move through life, we should be like knocking down barriers and not building them. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Sure, sure. Because how, how are we ever going to get any better? Yeah. How are they we ever going to improve? Country, bridges, not walls. Exactly. Bridges, not exactly. walls. Exactly. So it sounds like it's not going to go too dark. <coughs> maybe no, we'll no. Maybe peek at the new album. More, more yeah. of an uplifting I, I come think together. The new record's got more funk to it. It's more. It's 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 a little bit harder edged. It's it's uplifting, just like street rituals. I think that's important. I think I think music should uplift. I don't want to listen to like Radiohead records and yeah. things like that because yeah. it's a little bit depressing. Little bit down, yeah. But like, you know, I think music is a great uh, force for change and for positive thought. You know what I mean? Beautiful, beautiful. Neil Stone Foundation, thank you so much Thanks for doing that. Thanks very much, man. Looking forward thank to the you. show tonight. Go get ready. We won't bother you anymore. Thank you very Barcelona much. Barcelona City FM, we're out.